What's up guys? I'm Nick and this is Build Dead Build, a place where we're rising up. We're back on the streets because we did our time and we took our chances. And that's right guys, Xtool may have just made the D1 even better. If you guys have followed this channel for any length of time, you know that I do love my Xtool D1 10 watt laser. It is purdy. It's so purdy, I want to kiss it in the mouth. Look at that hotness. Look at that sweet, sweet lasery goodness. And no, I'm not making this video because they came out with a new unit. They just came out with some upgrades. Upgrades, people, upgrades. Today I'm gonna bring you along for the ride as I install those upgrades and check out our new bad mama jamma. Come with me. If you dare. All right, first upgrade. Every laser owner that is gonna be doing any sort of cutting needs something along these lines. That is a honeycomb. Now, I've seen some DIY versions of this, and those do work, but this is just gonna hold up longer over time. Uh, and the one by Xtool does come with the actual honeycomb. This also comes with a, a metal sheet that goes underneath the honeycomb to protect your work surface. If I can get it out of there. Also comes with these little magnet hold downs. I am curious how strong they are. Usually I find, depending on what you're working with, these only work with like real thin material. So that's kind of cool. Instead of just getting like a regular old honeycomb, they have of course branded it, but they also have millimeters running on two of the sides to kind of give you an idea of measurements. Groovy. So before you put this thing down, you just want to take the satisfying plastic off of both sides. Is this an ASMR video? Hell no. Oh. But, come on. Who doesn't love that? Ooh, that, one just, that one just comes right off. Whoa. Oh yeah. Ooh, already so much more sexy. X tool puts, puts the X, puts the X in sexy, right? Oh, let's get a little double branding right there. Oh, push in, push in. <gasps> Flavor. Cheap rubber. Um, it also comes with these like little rubbery deals to put on the edges and little sticky pads to put on there. At this point, we're not putting them on. Next up, we have the air assist. There we go. Let's, let's see what we got in the box. One of the cool things about the air assist from Xtool is it actually comes with an air pump. A lot of other ones you gotta air, buy the air pump separate. Okay, so let's see, we're looking at some tools, some pieces, and some tubing for the air assist. Uh, the user's guide, which we'll definitely be utilizing because I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know what these are, but they look fancy. Hold on, hold on. Ooh, the little nozzle that goes over the top. <laughs> Sexy nozzle. <laughs> wow. It comes with two of them. One for making out with, one for putting on the laser. Sweet. I was really hoping for this. <laughs> it comes with a new shield because it's got a little cutout for the air assist, the tube to go in. But I'm glad about this because, I don't know if you noticed, but mine, I, I, I caught a project on fire and melted the shield on mine. So, glad to see a new shield. And then, so the majority of this is actually the pump. Okay, so first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna swap the shield out. Now, I've just actually pulled this out before. Okay, I lied, we're going in these two little holes right here. And we're just gonna Loosen, if we can. There we go. So it says set this aside, but I think uh, this might be going in the trash after that. Okay, for this next part, you need a screwdriver and you're just gonna take these guys out. While I'm thinking about it, I'm gonna put something down here. Wait a second, one second. All right, take this out this out make sure you're on the kickstand side you'll see why in a minute stop we're putting this guy on here hopefully get these kind of started I'm just going to put these back in if you can get them in there also rookie mistake don't make mistakes that I make this unit comes with longer screws to go back in here 
The reason those weren't fitting is because they were too short. Grooming is fun, isn't it guys? Don't be gross. Okay, while well, the unit is sitting like this, so the, I guess the, the part that hooks into the gantry is pointed up. You're gonna take this guy, we're gonna rotate until this is pointed this way. One of these screws that came in with the, uh, with everything. Allen screw that is in the kit, or Allen wrench that's in the kit, I guess. And tighten that bad boy up. Ooh, we need to clean that a little bit. Okay, when cleaning optics, this is what I use. These are lens wipes from Zeiss. They were recommended to me by somebody, I can't remember. A lot of people say to use alcohol pads. I find that those like tend to dry up too fast and you don't get a, as good a clean on your lenses. So I'm gonna clean this guy off. Okay, now we're gonna get this guy in here. Now we're gonna fit this plate on. Tighten that up. Tighten that one up. Next, this runs through the side here. It's gonna marry into that uh, screw hole there. Okay, and then next up, we're gonna run the tube through here and then we're just gonna push it into here. Drop this guy back in here. And the instructions actually do this first, um, but I skipped the first page on accident. <laughs> Rebel. All right, so we're gonna put that guy on there. Just push this into here. If anybody has any good suggestions for something to deal with this cable and the air assist that would maybe come up here and be a little bit more out of the way, that would be awesome. I'd really appreciate it. Okay, I'm pretty positive that there is no um, way to turn this off. I don't, I don't see, um, I've seen multiple people ask the question. I actually haven't seen if there's an answer, but I don't see where there's any sort of switch or button on this thing at all. So X tool, definitely something to consider in the future. Little, little guy there. We'll probably, that guy will probably end up being like hiding underneath. Oh yeah. So, I mean, it's not all that loud but that is kind of irritating. I will probably just wire some sort of switch to that. Maybe, uh, I don't know, you go to like Home Depot and whatnot and get those, uh, it, it's just a thing that plugs into an outlet and then it has like a, you know, like a kick switch on it or something like that. Probably do that, mount it underneath here or something and when I need air assist, just give it a little, give it a little love, give it a little smackery do. Missed a piece. Okay, that makes more sense. Okay, sorry, this was, I didn't see this. Okay, so this piece goes into the other end of this. It was kind of a weird connection. And uh, I thought it was kind of odd, but like I said, I've never done this before, so. Yeah, so that's gonna give you a much better seal. And then this piece just plugs into there. Okay, better. Okay, dig it. Okay, so just to give you an idea about noise, here is the X-Tool on by itself. Here's the Air Assist 2. So it's a little louder, it's not that bad. So let's check it out and see if it works. Let's jump into LaserBox Basic. Okay, first I'm just gonna do cut the same settings. Uh, just one with the air assist on and one not. Okay, so this is an issue that I've heard some people are having. Is that once they put the air assist on, they're not getting, um, their beam isn't coming out. So let's troubleshoot it a little bit. So first thing I did is I took the air assist nozzle off the side and just pulled the thing. So we still have the nozzle down here, but everything else has been taken off. So let's just make sure that's not our issue. Okay, so next off, what we're gonna do is we're gonna pop this shield off and then we're gonna move this around a little bit and see if we can figure out uh, the best place for it to be seated. So one of the suggestions that's in the FAQs is to wrap this tape around there if, uh, if it's not working and then screw into the tape, I guess. So we're gonna try that. It says 10 to 20 times, but that seems excessive. Um, and then I need, I guess I need to cut this extra off. Well, it ain't pretty, but let's see if it works. <laughs> Going like this, we are back. Hopefully this is gonna, I'm assuming this is supposed to act kind of like as a gasket to make it stay centered. Okay, so orange tape for the win. And as you can see, the two that we've done already aren't getting a whole lot of discoloration. So I'm gonna pick this up to um, the settings for five millimeter basswood, which is basically 100% at two millimeters a second. Run that and see if we can actually kind of get it to scorch it a little bit. Okay. 
came out. Yeah, it's a little bit of love on the other side. And I mean, that's actually not too bad. Like the burn isn't too bad on that. So let's do that same cut with air assist. All right guys, before we get to the results of the air assist test, I just wanna say thank you for sticking around till the end of the video. Really appreciate it. Uh, if you like this video, hit that like button. If you haven't subscribed, please consider subscribing. It just really helps me out. An extra special thanks goes to all of my patrons. These guys and gals are the absolute shit. Especially my Boilermaker patrons. Steven Mann, Eric Weiss, Derek Coates, Chuck Faulkner, Puffy Muffins, Jim Carter, Andy the Viking, Dwight Smith, and Christopher Walters. Where are we, but guys, where are we? Haven't opened it today, but clinkies. Gulp, gulp. Now, let's get to those results. Apologize, my camera overheated while we were doing this, so I didn't film the results, but here they are. All right, so first we've got two versus three passes. This is no air assist. This is air assist. So as you can see, our lines are much cleaner with the air assist. Now, let's pop them out. Just because they weren't popping out well, I wanted to do three passes just to make sure. Ah, that one didn't let come out. All right, let's check this one. That one comes right out. And then this one should just pop right out. There we go. All right, let me flip this around. As you can see, not only are you getting less burn on the actual wood itself, but you're getting a better cut because this is two passes, this is three. Now, I should have popped that out before, but look at that burn. I don't even know. I don't know how well you can see it. There's, see it, see that brown ring right there? You all know about the brown ring, right? Then you got this cut. That, just to let you know, look at how much different that is. All right, guys, and you're gonna see this more with the, uh, with the walnut, because my walnut always scorches with no air assist. So here we have, I'm sorry, I don't have my fancy magic marker for this. This is two passes, three passes, no air assist. Two passes, three passes with air assist. Pick this up. So again, with no air assist on two, we are getting so much smoke, I'm assuming, on this one that it's not cutting that second half. I'm assuming it's starting about here, cutting well, and then as you can see, like it cuts good there, and then it kind of tapers off. All right, guys, and that right there shows us that the new upgrades, the new accessories, are definitely gonna improve your lasering experience. Go, Axel, give me the D. One. I'm gonna figure this out eventually. It's gonna be fresh. Can I say fresh? Because I hope this video helped you out. Uh, I hope it showed you kind of how to install the air assist and what it can do for you. Um, and you know, hey, honeycomb, baby. Everybody loves a good honeycomb. And now, thanks for playing. And now I got to get to work. What's up, guys? I'm Nick, and this is Build That. <clears throat> We're back on the streets. We did our time. We can just this all up now. Oh, broke that already. Actual still doesn't work. But I do like their new logo. Get that D. One. It's round and brown, baby. <laughs> <laughs>